Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, I am going to be attempting to do a full face using only the Tati Beauty Blendable. And I am pretty excited for this, you guys, because I have purposefully not watched any videos showcasing this product, of course, except for her launch video on it, just because I didn't want any sort of like preconceived notions. I didn't want to find out any tips or tricks. I solely wanted to go into this and just totally let it be an honest first impressions and just see how I use it and if the way I chose to use it would work. So I'm super excited for this today. I really hope that you guys are too. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy it. And yeah, you guys, if you want to know what the deal is with the Blendiful, then let's just go ahead and get started. I actually bought two of them just because when I got on the website and I was trying to figure out like what I would do, I was like, there's no way that you can actually use just one of them for a full face. Because even in her launch video, Tati mentioned that she uses like one for face, one for body. I would assume you'd kind of need to use one for creams, one for powders. And so that's where my brain was going. So I did pick up two packs of them like you see here. They are $18 a piece. So I will say one more thing before I get started is that with the launch of this product, I was actually a little bit disappointed because I have not watched another video of Tati since the launch video of the Blendiful. And I was so disappointed in that particular video because I felt personally that she should have showcased the product in that video, like showed you how to use it, showed you how she used it, what she did with it, her tips and tricks for it. And like I said, I haven't watched any of her videos since then, but none of them specifically stated she was like using the Blendiful in the title or anything. And so I didn't click on them, but I'm just confused because I feel like you should show people before they're buying it or literally maybe like right on launch day or something like that, how you expect them to use this product to provide best results. That's my personal opinion. I know some of you may not agree. If she has posted a video and it was hidden in one of her most recent videos, let me know down below and maybe I'm just wrong and that would be totally fine. I will say that the packaging it came in is really nice. I do like it. I think the name is adorable. I like the black with like the little like hidden Tati Beauty at the top. And then we've got like the bronze writing. And it says that you got one Blendiful and one Baby Blendiful in there. So it does come with a big one and a little one. On the back, it just says Blendiful again. It gives you the cleaning instructions. It says, uh, what does it say? No harsh lines, XO Tati. And this product is cruelty free, vegan. And yeah, oh, it is made in China. Interesting. So it says that this is machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water. Rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Do not bleach and do not dry clean. So don't do that. So you peel off the little tab right here. And then, oh, okay. So this is the little baby Blendiful. It's very soft. Wow. Interesting. And it has this little thing where you can, you know, like hold it on your little finger. It's very soft and kind of like puffy. It's cute. And then you have the bigger Blendiful that looks like this. Again, very soft. This one is softer and more squishier than the other one. The little baby Blendiful is more dense. And again, this does kind of, so you can pat it on your face or hold it on. It just looks like this. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it works. It's huge. Like, do you see this? It covers like the whole side of my face. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I didn't watch any videos on this. It doesn't specify that you wet the product. So I'm not going to, I'm just gonna kinda go in and use this. I typically use about three or four pumps. As you can see, I literally popped it right on there. I'd be so mad if I'm supposed to wet this and I don't know, oh Jesus. I don't know what else this idea is though. Let's do this and I'll zoom you guys in just a hair. I'll let you get all up in this action. Nothing looks funny or different. And you can see where like it looks now that I have used it. Like this part up here looks kind of wet. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of stay away from this section now. 
just because I don't know if that's going to mess up anything moving forward. So now I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Power Play Foundation. And I typically use, I want to say a brush with this. It could be a sponge. I have no idea. I'm having the world's worst like brain fart this morning. But I'm going to, again, place this directly on the sponge. And I'm going to give it a go. So now I'm just going to use this corner over here. And I'm just going to do a little bit to start. Just that much so I can see what the heck is going on. I'm so nervous. I don't even know. It's just weird because it's fuzzy. Like, what? Is it a rubbing? Is it a padding? What? You see these little spots right here? Those are fuzzies from the Blendiful falling off my face. Okay, you guys, so I've done a little bit and I'm going to kind of get close, but I do want to remind you, like, if you are not new to my channel, that this combination that I've used thus far is a combination I use almost daily. I know how these products work. They never fail me. They always look flawless on my skin, and I did that for the simple reason of the fact that I've never used this specific product before, and I only wanted this to be the outlying factor, so that way if anything went, like, super great or super wrong, that I would be able to identify what it was, knowing it wasn't the makeup, knowing that either the good or bad was coming from the Blendiful. So, I want to show you even closer right now that like, yes, it has distributed the foundation all over my face, but honestly, you guys, like, it doesn't look good. First of all, around my nose probably is the worst that I have ever seen my makeup go on in a long time. But like this, it's literally like this whole section of my nose, literally no product is holding on to. My crevice, First of all, is that another piece of... No. Okay, good. But like, do you see this? It is so cakey around my nose. There's literally like a line running right here, if you guys can see that. It's not going good. And like I said, again, I didn't watch any videos on this, so I'm not trying to be super hateful, but like I don't have any information. Like the packaging comes with no information on like if you're supposed to wash it, if there's a specific technique. If one is better than the other for certain things, like it doesn't say it. All the information I have is the little bit of information she gave us in the launch video, which again, I've said it now, this will be the third time, so I'm like a dang broken record. But that's why I would have preferred her to talk in that video and specifically showcase this product then because I'm very confused on how it is supposed to work. And if I'm going off initial first impressions, literally right this second, I would say this product is literally terrible. But I don't want to be that harsh on it because maybe there's something that I don't know. So I actually do want to try a little bit of contouring with this. And I do have a cream bronzer that I'm going to utilize for this. Just because I want to try it in as many ways as I possibly can. So I have the Chanel, um, what is this called? Sol de, whoa, Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer I'm strangling. And I love this stuff. It's so great. I love to use it in the summertime. So I'm going to take the other corner of my Blendiful. I'm going to go ahead and bend it up like this. And I'm going to dip into this product just like that. If this leaves fuzzies in there, I'm going to whack somebody. I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to begin to stamp this on my cheeks. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? A freaking fuzz. I thought my freaking product was funky and I was like, uh oh. -uh -uh. So I'm just going to pat this. I don't trust the dragging method at all. So I'm going to pat this on my cheeks. Now I'm going to switch to the baby blendiful for this and I'm going to do um, my concealer. And I'm going to put my concealer directly on my face with the wand and then blend it out with this. So I'm just going to dot it since I'm not exactly sure what it's going to do. And because I did put that bronzer down, I don't want to drag my concealer too far today. I will do a little smidgen right here down the nose. God let that add some coverage. And right here on the chin. Heck, I might as well do it on my little eyelids. 
And now I'm going to take the little baby blender full and I think what I may do is use the, the pointed tip of it to try and keep this a little bit more controlled and blend this out. You guys see where it's like pulling up my makeup where like as I'm doing this and the like the tip of it is touching my face oh my Jesus I hope to God honestly you guys that I am doing this wrong I hope to God I am doing this wrong and that I'm supposed to have wet it or so something something because I'm so unimpressed right now if I'm being a hundred percent honest like I'm so unimpressed so again please Leave me comments down below or link me a video that I've missed because I just, I'm so confused and I think my makeup looks like literal trash right now. Which is supposed to be the opposite point of this whole experience that this is supposed to be like the best thing for makeup application. I'm like, my skin don't look like Tauti's right now. My skin looks like shit. So I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Let me loosen her up. And I'm going to take a corner. Again, I don't know if I'm able to like use the same section like I would, for example, with a Morphe sponge or a beauty blender. Like I will use, you know, like for under eyes and I'll use the same side for powder, but I don't know if I'm able to do that with this. And so I'm not going to. I'm going to take a little corner poof and I'm going to kind of, again, fold it up. This kind of keeps me from touching both sides. I'm going to dip directly into the container and this does hold a lot of product right here. And then I'm just going to kind of stamp it under my eye and everywhere that I put concealer being sure not to get too crazy on the um, cream bronzer that I did put down okay you guys so the powder application was probably the easiest application that I've had thus far but powder is pretty standard and simple I thought that was the same with all of my makeup but I guess not but um so here you can see uh, I mean it just looks cakey it really does like it looks 10 times worse in person but I mean you guys couldn't get my forehead wrinkle to blend out appropriately so that's just how that's gonna be so we're gonna move keep it trucking right on along I'm going to I think I'm gonna have to open the other one and switch and see what's good because I'm still going to keep going so I'm now taking the second pack and opening it up which I'm not looking forward to because now I have to keep this. So I will say one of the things that I am impressed about this product, and so far it's about the only thing I'm impressed with, is the amount of product that it does pick up. It's not making me do a lot of work to get the product. In my opinion, thus far, it has not distributed my product in a nice way, but it is picking up product. So I'm actually going to tap on my skin just a bit because I don't know what that's going to do. And I'm going to... Oh yeah, you just caked that on, Alyssa. Oh, Lord Jesus. It's not like a brush. Like, I don't, and I can't really, like, swoop it because it's a cream. Oh, that looks like shit. Picked up more. I'm going to do this side. This side looks a little bit better for whatever reason. I don't even know. At this point, I'm just putting stuff on my face with no hope of this getting any better, if I'm being honest. Let me just bring that in. Try and help myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, can you... Alright, I'm gonna try and buff. I'm gonna try and buff for a minute. Y'all just give me a sec. Looks like poo. And I'm cutting it up high. I know I'm cutting it up high. I did that on purpose because I had to blend this so far down. So don't be alarmed. I'm purposefully putting it up that high. But like, I blended it down a lot. Okay, while that sits does whatever that's doing I'm going to take and I am going to use my note cosmetics blush in desert rose and I'm gonna take the other corner of this blendiful fold it like this dip it into here like so pat a little off on my hand cuz now I don't even I can't there's can I make this worse and put this on. I look like shit. Moving along, I'm going to take my Anastasia and Amrezy highlighter. 
And I'm going to take the little Blendiful that I used for my concealer and highlighter. And I'm going to use this one unused corner. And I'm going to pick up some product. And I'm going to pat this along here. At this point, I have lost all hope. The tiny little Blendiful butt was not bad for highlighting all my high points. But you guys, my makeup looks like shit. Give me two seconds. I'm going to browse something with you. I'm going to try and make this look a little bit better doing the rest of my face, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys. I am back. I am finished. Um, I don't know if you saw if I left it in there, but I literally doused my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray for a good, like, three minutes to try and, like, get any of this product to really sink into my skin. I do think it looks a little bit better now, but it's not good, you guys. Like, my bronzer and my blush is just so heavy. Like, it looks so bad. My skin itself, it just looks old, you guys. Like, I don't know how to describe this. Let me bring you in. Ignore this little mascara dot. I sneezed and got it on there, and I haven't bothered to take it off yet so it can dry. But, I mean, like, you guys, it looks bad. Like, look at my nose. And my skin just looks old. Like, it looks absolutely horrible. And you guys have seen me in this, um, like, these are, like, all my favorite products. So you guys have seen me wear this combination of makeup a thousand times. And it just looks bad. And, oh, my God, my forehead wrinkle hasn't looked this bad. And I don't even know what. Like, it literally looks like I'm, like, 80-plus years old. Like, I just got wrinkles on my skin. Like, look at it. Like, my skin looks crepey. Oh my god. It just looks bad, you guys. Like, it looks really bad around my mouth. My skin just looks horrendous. So, with that being said, um, the Tati Blendiful is a no from me. I'm pretty sure you knew this this entire video. Um, if I did something wrong, if I did make a mistake, Please let me know down below. Please let me know politely down below because like I said, I watched no videos on this. The packaging came with no directions. As far as I know, she hasn't posted a video showing us how to use it. So I just don't know. So I went in completely blind, which is what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to be as raw and as honest and as real with you guys as possible. So please let me know in a nice way if I did something wrong and if I have made a ton of mistakes and I completely misused the product, I will make another video utilizing the tips and tricks or if she finally comes out with a video, I will use her tips and tricks and advice and redo this and see if it works better. But from my first impressions from this video today, I would not waste your money on this product. It is not good in my opinion. My Morphe sponge would never. And my Morphe sponge is $8. But anyways, you guys, that is all for today's video. I am highly disappointed to say the least, especially since you guys know that I love her Texture Neutrals palette. It was in my yearly favorites. It's like one of the best palettes I've ever seen. So I had such high expectations. I'm disappointed in the application, the fact that the fuzzies went everywhere, the fact that there are no instructions, there has been no direction. I'm just disappointed in the fact that I bought one, let alone bought two. Yeah, you guys, I'm just disappointed, and I really hate that because I just, I had high hopes, like I said, but anyways, you guys, that is all. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. You can also come follow me on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!